So boom. <coughs> Back on the GoPro, mate. Round two. I'm trying to make this video. I got ten minutes in, and I just, it just, just I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, back on the GoPro, mate. Well, literally, got the GoPro yesterday. So feeling pleased about that. And yeah, just uh, smoking a joint, chilling, relaxing. And uh, yeah, life has been a bit, yeah. I think a lot of things are annoying me at the moment. Like, literally, a lot of things are annoying me. Um, and just... I don't like to come on a video, yeah, and just be all like, moan, 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 moan. But sometimes, like, it's just a bit of a moan. Like, life is just a bit of a moan. It's just up and down. Like, it's up and down. It's not all just steady, like, flat. But, I mean, that's, that's fair. Like, literally, I always like to stay up on a heart rate machine. It goes up and down, up and down. Sometimes flat, up and down, up and down. That means you're alive. If it's just steady, it just means you're dead, doesn't it? So I like to use that example in life as well. Like things are going to be ups and downs. It's not just going to be a steady rate. And if it is, you're not living, are you? Like you're not li really living. Like there should be different experiences and different emotions that we feel in life. But all in all, yeah. Like, it's an alright day, it's an alright day. I've been uh, sleeping fucking... <sighs> I've been sleeping all day. Because I've just been fucking hating people. I literally hating people. So I've been sleeping all day. And then waking up in the evenings. And, uh, yeah. I could have gone for a walk up on the downs. Get some scenery shots. But I was like, no, fuck it. And sit down, smoke a joint and just fucking chat. So, that's what I'm doing. But, yeah. What I'm trying to say to you is... Um, I really enjoyed when there was no people about, but I literally enjoyed it, and I'm like, yeah, I get it, oh, you're selfish, why did you still go out, like, I went out throughout the whole lockdown, like, literally throughout the whole lockdown, and yeah, and, well, I didn't really have a choice, some of it, but, yeah, like, halfway through it, it sort of picked up, but, <clears throat> yeah, mate, like, yeah, it's just a simple case of, I, I don't, I don't care. I just think it's another bullshit thing. And obviously on the bus as well, like, trying to get into town, like, they say, oh, you got to wear a mask and blah, 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 and this, this, this. But it's like, shh, yeah, again, it's just a load of bollocks. So, T-shirt over the face, and it's like a face covering, even if it's not a mask. And then, obviously, they let you on. But some bus drivers are probably dickheads about it, and that pisses me off as well. Then there's the whole no money situation. That's also just fucking doing my nut. I mean, I've noticed that for a while now, and I noticed that since the Netherlands as well, because they fully implemented it, like, everything is contactless anyway. Even fucking go to the toilet, like, you can't just put change in, it's contactless. That's... Anyway. <coughs> like, they still got money, but just not in the same way that we still have it at the moment. But even now, I say that, it's going, like, literally, it's going right before our eyes. And this is another thing, yeah, this whole thing of, like, staying in and wearing masks and blah 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 and keep your distance and this 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 it's just fucking bollocks because it just I'm not it's it, it, it's it's what it is is not what they say it's for like literally it, to keep us separated that they just make it to say oh it's because of a virus it's because of this it's because of that it's safety so they play on safety it's like with terrorism they play on safety in order to get you to do this nut shit and control you which you wouldn't normally do if they were to just out and out come on TV one day and say, right, everyone just stay apart, nobody speak to each other, don't go in this one, don't go here, don't go there, don't gather here, don't... Everyone would just be like, fuck off, like, literally. But obviously, I thought that's what people would do, but clearly they haven't really, uh... I mean, they haven't really cottoned on that that's what the case is. <coughs> so, with that being said... In short, it just, yeah, and then now that everyone is out, like, I don't want to go out anyway, so that's why I've just been sleeping the day away, because, yeah, there's no point in being awake during the daytime, because the people that are awake during the daytime are not on my level anyway, so, I don't see the point in fucking socialising with them and fucking walking in the street and fucking getting all their bad energy as I'm walking, like, no, no thanks.
But yeah, that's that. I've been enjoying. I've been enjoying the good weather. So I literally have been enjoying the good weather. Um, yeah, and yeah, I don't know. People have been pissing me off. But people have been pissing me off. They've just been fucking. Alright, okay, but for example, one specific thing, yeah? <coughs> I don't want to come in and just talk about drama, yeah? But. This is life, like, this is life, and this is sometimes why I don't record, because this is drama. But you're saying I have to just. Do you know what I mean? Focus on dealing with drama rather than fucking recording good vibes. <laughs> oh man, it's fucking. Oh, anyway. Like, people, yeah, that say. They're all tough and this and this. And this is not to do with violence or anything like that. I'm not talking about, like, oh, I'm going to stab you or blah, blah. I'm talking about, like, people that just, like, pretend that they're above everything else and they don't get affected by any of the bullshit. And you mention something that's slightly negative or slightly like, oh, this is a bit shit or I don't like this. It's like, oh, yeah, but that's negativity, blah, blah. And I agree, that is. But at the same time, it's something shit, like something shit. Like, do you know what I mean? There's no point in dressing it up and trying to pretend that situation is not bad when it is. Like, there's certain situations where people obviously they'll exaggerate and they'll be like, oh, this is so bad. It's not. But sometimes my situations are actually bad. They're like fucking dire. Like, literally, they're dire. And it's just like. Phew, I don't know, like, one little thing, like, if you can blow over in the wind, then they don't really need you, do you know what I mean? If you can die from the flu, then, well, we don't really need you, like, it's natural selection, isn't it? It's just, like, some people, they just go on and on and on and on about how strong and tough they are, and, oh, yes, well, I've been through this, and I've been through that, yeah, and you're still going through it, like, you, and they're in denial, they're like, oh, yeah, but I've moved forward, I've done this, no, you fucking haven't, mate, it plays on your mind, which is why you act like a freak now. But literally, and then they try and mix religion with it as well, and like, oh, I've been saved, and I've found God, and the like, fuck off, mate, don't bring God into this fucking shit, but literally, people think, yeah, they can fucking just drag God into anything, or religion into anything, oh, yeah, but, and then religion, no, fuck off, mate, there's you, and then there's religion, like, religion to me, yeah, it's like you wake up and boom, it's there in your face. Like from the moment you wake up, like you're thinking about, you're practicing it. You're not just talking and like you're just dropping quotes every now and again as if it's some sort of like fucking, I don't know, like couple bar challenge or something. Like, do you know what I mean? Every now and again you spit some lyrics. Like, no, like you're either in it or you're not. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, there's no 50 50. But people like to just like step in and out of it and it's like, Phew. I can't be dealing with that. And, like, trying to like trying to like for want of better words okay no actually no trying to overcome a discussion just by throwing God around yeah well literally pretty much and it's just like oh mate fuck off well literally fuck off just don't speak to me literally don't speak to me you got nothing against religion mate that's not what I'm getting at but the people that are just fucking weak as pig shit but then they're just fucking pretending that they're all this and that and use religion to try and cover it up with it. oh yeah but God protects me uh, no you're a fucking idiot if you walk in front of a car God's not going to stop that car like do you know what I mean it's down to that person to break in time to stop hitting you that's nothing to do with God don't be oh God will protect me but you purposely put yourself in dumbass situations like no that's bullshit anyway I got that off my chest, but that situation is now over, thankfully. <sighs> I don't like being suckered, mate. Like, literally, I don't like when people lie to me, and I don't like opening up to people only to find out they're a snake. But it's something that really affects me, it really bothers me. And, uh, yeah, it relates back to why I don't have friends. But in recent times, I have started to get friends. Like, it's what it is. Like, and again, I feel bad saying that because it sounds like I'm bragging and showing off. Like, because I'm just a quiet person. Like, I don't like to put my business out there. I don't like to constantly. Oh, I've done this. I've got that. I've got this. If you ask me something, can you meet me? I'll tell you stories all night of everything that I've done and situations that I've been in. But to come and just like 
purposely just rubbing things in people's faces and trying to shove my opinion down people's throat and like, oh yeah, well I've done this, so therefore you should understand and blah, no, like, it's all relative to what you know at the end of the day, like, it's all relative, so like, yeah, anyway, I'm just quiet, so I don't like to just constantly just be like, blah, 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 but yeah, in recent times, I do have friends, so I, um, that comes with its own issues as well, so yeah. Yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> as I was saying, oh god, <coughs> I don't like, um, being real, because if you're real, it's just, people either fucking use that against you to try and fucking bring you down, or, whether that be mentally or physically, depending on if you're materialistic or not, or, they'll just be like, mad about it, I literally, and just, do you know what I mean? It's not fine, but it's something you just got to fucking get used to and fucking learn how to deal with it and make it work to your advantage, which is a learning experience, that's what I mean. But other than that, like, I don't know, some things I could do without, but at the same time, like, if I wouldn't have done those situations or been in them situations even, yeah, there's lots of good things that wouldn't come up for. I'm feeling good, mate, overall, I'm feeling good, like, um, it's been a bit crazy, it's been a bit nuts, this thing, like, but yeah, I'm feeling good, I'm glad to have the GoPro so I can start recording more, and get you in on the action sometimes, but yeah, it's calm, it's calm. Maybe the other night it all nearly kicked off because of fucking, well, it wasn't the other night, it was the morning I was out, and then it got to like, I don't know, seven, half seven, and uh, <clears throat> we was just walking around, me and my pals, and then it was by Arbor on King Street, and then uh, matey boy goes to use some hand sanitizer, like down, like the steps. On like the street, and they're like all pubs and malls and that and shit. Like all the benches and they're all fucking chained up because people were sitting and socialising and blah blah blah. But yeah, anyway, he went down, got some time with us, I come back up, and then some guy just like was like started having a go at us because he was like, "Oh, that's a nursery, blah blah. Why are you going into a nursery? Da 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 da." Trying to steal stuff. 
And then obviously like, yeah, me and my mate, yeah, yeah we just, lit. okay, fine, yeah, we got a bit chopsy. And then fine, <laughs> fine, 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 yeah, we got chopsy, we got chopsy. And then fucking, <laughs> my other friend, when we got the hand sanitizer, I was like, oh, sorry, like, da, da, da. Because he's much older, like, he's much older. So, like, he's sensible, like, whereas I'm not always sensible. And me throws my friend, so, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so, yeah, that happened, and then, like, obviously walked off, and then some woman was saying, oh, I'm going to call the police, da, da. so my other friend was like, okay, let's go. But I didn't realise, that's why he was saying, let's go, he just told me afterwards. And then, obviously, we're sitting at the park, the police pull up, blah, blah, blah. And then all this is going on, da da da. And then my friend is filming it on his Snapchat, so I was like, why are you filming on your Snapchat? And then, yeah. But no, it wasn't that big a deal. Like, literally, it was just a simple stop search because we got chopsy to a guy. But at the same time, yeah, there are many situations that's been happening like that sometimes. And it's always at the tail end of my night, like, literally, when I just get a bit bored. So now I've just been like staying in and just being just boring, basically, because, like, yeah. I just when when there's nobody about like when it was the cor- the the quarantine thing, and like yeah everyone was indoors it was so much better because like the police will be out but like you could just easily just say to them why you're out because no one else was out so like they just they just they just accept that you're just a bit of a mad fucker like, well they do in Bristol anyway because Bristol's quite chilled but yeah because I was just going out like any time I got to stop like it was just a case of like I'm just out. Obviously, and even one time I was smoking a spliff, and I was just like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "Oh, we're just smoking a joint." And I was like, "All right." I was like, "Oh, you know, it's supposed to be quarantine." Like, "Yeah, well, we, we haven't got nowhere to go at the moment. Like, we've missed the bus. Like, we're just waiting, like a couple of hours." And then I was like, oh, "Okay, yeah, that's fine." And then they just drove off, and that's what happened every single time. Like every single time. So like all of these stories, it's just like, oh yeah, people get fined, uh, yeah, it probably did happen, there probably was like ruckuses and police were probably brutal with some people, but, I don't know, overall, I think it was alright, like it wasn't as bad as they made it out to be. And especially as I was going to different places as well, and like seeing the places I was talking about, and it was just like, hmm, it's not really that bad as you're making out, but it's not really that bad. But yeah, that's pretty much it, for now. Pretty stoned to be honest. Yeah, that's what happens, like, it's good, like, because you just sleep, and then you're just not smoking. Mostly, although it's not really good to just sleep the days away. I've been through that phase, and it's just like, oh, pretty dead. I literally need to snap out of it. And I'm convinced that the screen is making me depressed. Like, uh, obviously I get severe depression from the screen. Like, I 
provides comfort for the eyes, but I'm just taking in a load of shit that I don't need to be taking in. I just see so many fucking smart devices in the house, it's just end up fucking using one, obviously. I mean, I've got two smartphones now, but I just haven't used them. I haven't used them. And uh, yeah, it will be good because then I can make videos. I just, just no, just, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just been fucking. It's right. Thankfully, I just use it in the house. I don't walk around with them, but it's still a bit like, eh. Uh, uh, Yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking it's making me go a bit do lally. I know it sounds a bit stupid that a tablet can make you go crazy, but I genuinely believe that, yeah, smart technology makes me depressed. It makes me very, yeah, I just don't want to do anything. Just. Just empty. <laughs> At least see, it's a lack of creativity, mate. At least see. Whereas when I'm out, it's like constantly just new things to stimulate your mind. Like meeting different people, like chilling, smoking, walking. Do you know what I mean? It's just different, man. Like. But yeah, I just had three days of just being indoors. But yeah, three days of being indoors. And yeah. Also, <clears throat> I just remembered somewhere. Did I not? Oh, yes, I did. I remember what it was anyway, but. Oh yes. <coughs> okay. Let's see if we've got enough battery for this. Right. I fucking wrote down a few things of uh, videos and ideas that I want to have. Since this. But before we get on to the crooks of the matter, as they say. I don't know why I'm pausing and making it dramatic because it's not dramatic at all. I'm just thinking. I'm just going. But. There's three. I think I mentioned this. There's three. Uh, 
series. That's the word. Series that I want to make. One is on the bus. The other one is just walking on foot. And the third is on the train. Train is more scenery. I guess it could be alright. But it's just one of those things that's just a little personal thing for me. And then something for you as well. But it's a personal thing for me. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to broaden my horizons, mate. I'm just trying to broaden my horizons and push the boat out a little bit. But it might be dead. Like it might be completely dead. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh. This is a thing. I feel like I've got to take the leap of faith because I feel like I'm opening myself up to some problems. But <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that is the three things, the three uh, video ideas. And bike riders, so I can now fucking strap you back onto the bike again. I literally, the bike ride videos. Got a care a care blah, 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 blah. I've got a care package coming soon, which hopefully will include my accessories from the other GoPro. Fingers crossed, because there's a shit ton of camel stuff which I just still. Yeah, I just didn't get rid of because yeah. But <laughs> sorry, it's gonna be dozed. Crooks of the matter. <sighs> the fact that okay, I actually no, I've touched on this a little bit, but I just didn't really go into detail. It's the fact of people, yeah. Having a life. <laughs> oh, mate, that's it. That's pretty much it. That is, I could sit and like, make excuses and blah, 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 and drag it out. But that's it. People have got a life. Now, everyone is, I use the words loosely, entitled to their own life, whatever they want to do, blah, blah, blah. Like, do you know what I mean? It's launching on the fucking being a cunt or do you know what I mean purposely hurting other people and just just being a fuckery to society basically as long as you're not doing that then whatever like anything goes really but <sighs> where was I going with this there was a point Oh yes, see? That's why I just said the point straight away, because otherwise I would have forgotten. But yeah, people have a life, right? And it's a case of, oh, I don't know. Like, sometimes I just wonder if life is actually worth it. Now, I speak about this on a, a global scale, and, it, and like a countrywide scale, rather than just an individual scale, because I don't really like people, and having people that are close, I don't really enjoy that feeling of being close to people, but at the same time 
when you are close to someone and they are your friend or whatever then it's like that is when you can be a little I, I don't know the lines can be blurred because like they're doing or living a life which you'll be like well what's the point in that but then you're, you're, they're your friends you're like oh yeah I'll allow it but such but sometimes it's okay but then sometimes it gets to the point where it's like no I just can't be bothered like and it's just like it doesn't mean you should cut off everyone but sometimes I just have a complete cull of every single circle that I'm in and just start again actually and with doing that like having met so many people from other countries and around the world that is the annoying part because obviously you lose those connections and obviously there's a few people that I'm still in contact with and they make the effort to contact me and I contact them and that's all you really need but otherwise yeah it is annoying because otherwise yeah I would happily make the effort to contact these people but at the same time there's the other portion of people which is just phew. yeah I don't care like literally I don't care <laughs> Like this, just, 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 just get rid of, just get rid of them, just, just get rid, of, just cold, 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 just, just exterminate the whole lot, mate. Actually, and it's hard because I don't like it. I don't like it. It's just annoying. It's like, do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, sometimes you just gotta fucking just burn it all to the ground and just start again. Like, regardless of what you have. Friends, money, jobs, relationships, power, wealth, whatever it is, just fucking just burn it all to the ground and start again. And it's easier said than done because some things you just want to keep hold of and or they make you feel good or whatever, but at the same time it's just one thing I notice is the higher you are, the greater you fall. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It doesn't mean I should stop myself from progression and having nice things and treating myself and like, do you know what I mean? Having good things in life, because that's what it's about, it's enjoying the fruits of life, like, do you know what I mean? There's plenty of good things that we can have, but we deny ourselves it, and I'm one of those people, but it's just a case of like, I don't know, you have those good things, but then it's just, I don't know, it's just a magnet for all the fuckheads to just, yeah. Which causes more problems trying to defend all the good things you have. And it's not because you don't want other people to have it. It's just because, like, do you know what I mean? The, the reasons they want it is just to destroy. They don't want it to fucking take a piece of and actually grow from. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. So, I don't know. It just puts me off everything. Which all intertwines with going to work and just fucking being a slave and just... I don't know, just... I don't know. Depends on what job you do. Because I've done security and I loved it. Like, it, was, it was great. But literally one of the best jobs I've had. Well, not <laughs> the only job. <laughs> Aside from all the rest of the stuff. Like in public services. But yeah, it's one of the only jobs I've had. But yeah. Um, yeah, it was calm. It was good. It was good. Still is, like literally still is. I'm still support everyone on the front line doing security. But yeah. I just yeah, I can't see myself just fucking Oh yeah, but the money and blah 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 and you can do what you want yeah I can, but then even when I do do what I wanna do with that money, like there's still fucking bullshit. Do you know what I mean? There's still bullshit, it's just like Like this GoPro, for example, I'm really happy to have it. I'm really happy to have it. I'm glad I've got a GoPro again. Like, see, I didn't think I was going to get one for fucking. Just wasn't even in my mind. Like, it wasn't even in my mind. And then end up getting one, and that's it. But then it's like, yeah, I'm happy. I'm glad. Like, look, it's a nice camera. Right, okay, calm, whatever. But it doesn't change the fact there's so much bullshit. <laughs> 
you know what I mean? It doesn't change anything. But then obviously I can make videos and connect to other people and so on and so forth. So there's benefits that come from it. Like, do you know what I mean? There's very good benefits which could then change the thought process of hating everything. So it can also work both ways. I am understanding. I'm understanding. Yeah, understanding that. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> yes, mate. <clears throat> Filming in the shed again, mate. Hey, the shed is no more for me, obviously. The shed is no more for me. Like, if you remember the days of being hyped to get it, and like, I was watching some of those videos actually, and uh, yeah, I was hyped to get it. I was so gassed, and then I got it, and then yeah. But it was good, like, it was good. Like, there were some sick times in there. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. And yeah. So stay blessed for now. <laughs>